Hello folks and welcome back to the vlog show. As Halloween grows closer, I think it's time and would be fun to finally ask the question, what's the difference between Spirit Halloween and Halloween City? And just to give a little bit of uh, historical context, Spirit Halloween first opened its doors in 1983. Its first location was in San Francisco, California. In 1999, however, it was bought by Spencer Gifts, which made it the Halloween juggernaut that it is today. And Halloween City is and always has been owned by Party City. And they were founded in New Jersey in 1986. So I thought it would be just kind of a fun little versus vlog to see what the difference is between the two and which one maybe is better than the other one. I don't know. Yeah, let's have fun. All right, let's go into Spirit Halloween. Let's check it out. This is probably my favorite. Set, this is so sort of cool theming right here. I love it. <laughs> Alright, let's check it out. Oh, yeah. Halloween city. <laughs> I gotta put on my mask to go look at mask. Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Barbie gold in the mountains. Just in case you can't tell, that's a pirate sword. That's why I did Barbie gold. Can't really tell on my hat, but that's a little witch. A little witch hat. It's like a little thing you can put over your head and wear a tiny witch hat. All right, let's talk about my honest feelings about each one of the stores. And this is my honest, unscripted, uh, honest opinion of how I felt about each of the Halloween stores. So just first off, let's talk about, let's talk about the animatronics first. That's a really easy one. That's probably the easiest one out of all of them because there really isn't a competition. Spirit Halloween had way more animatronics set up. It felt more like when you went in, almost more like a theme park compared to Halloween City. Halloween City had the one Michael Myers, Hey, which is one of my favorite, if you want to call him a monster, one of my favorite monsters of all time. But however, it just lacked the animatronics and the, I don't know, that it just, I don't know how to put it. It just didn't feel as, I guess, festive as uh, Spirit Halloween. 
as far as the animatronics go. Dark Knight, you don't know who you will run into. Creatures and creepy crawlies lurk out from every shadow. Looks like you need a little trimming. Live here and tuck there. <laughs> You'll be perfect in no time. You look like <laughs> Yes. Now let's get into props. Uh, what did I feel about the props? I would say that they both have very good selection on props. To me, there wasn't really much of a difference when it came to the props. Um, I didn't see too many differences. As far as uh, my visits to the two stores, now you have to understand these are only the two stores that I visited. Obviously, all of them are going to have a bit of a different setup and have more room. For the most part, the uh, props like swords and knives and axes, and ch I didn't see any chainsaws this year, but I saw a lot of the other stuff. Um, they pretty much are the same that from what I saw anyway. Now as far as the costumes go, I'm gonna actually have to give it to uh, I'm gonna have to give it to Halloween City. I felt like Halloween City had more recognizable costumes to me. Now this is upon my first opinion. Maybe if I go back to Spirit Halloween, I would start seeing the more recognizable costumes. But so Halloween City actually for me had the better costumes. Definitely had the better mask for me. Uh, maybe looking back at the footage later, I might change my mind some. But just based off of what I saw and can remember today, I really think that Halloween City takes the cake on better mask. Having said that though, Halloween City, I'm sorry, Spirit Halloween did have some pretty amazing mask as well. So prices, prices, prices. I will say that they're pretty much compatible in the price range. Yeah, my taste, definitely Spirit Halloween, but they both have or they both have their charm and they both have you know their own things but anyway people that's gonna do it uh, if you like this content and you want more stuff like this please the best way you can support my channel is simply by subscribing and by liking my videos so thank you so much and I will catch you all in the next vlog alright guys bye bye